Hello everyone. So I thought I would do a little um, video, short video to show you, for those unfamiliar with drive through cards, how this basically works. Uh, we're not going to go through everything, no need, but I'll give you the basics. So obviously it's www.drivethroughcards.com um, or Google search drive through cards, whatever. All right. So this is this is roughly the page that you'll be presented with. So they have their own card creator software. So that's will be the top part of this thing. Okay. And then they have the hottest titles. As you can see, the Hockey Bones 2021 PDF is number nine right now. The newest titles, newest community content, which are these playing cards. You can't make sports playing cards. It's just for these certain games. And the newest standalone games they have listed there and then ads. So if you didn't already know, drive through cards is part of a larger series of websites. So drive through comics, drive through fiction, drive through RPG and war game vault. Now a friend of mine is selling a really cool game that I have called polyversal through war game vault. So if you get a chance, go over, look for epics, epics, Collins games, and look for poly uh, polyversal it's a really cool game anyway all right so here's the main page so you can look by type of game theme age players or publishers go down to publishers oh before we choose publishers so for the deal of the day you'll see me advertise this and talk about this a lot going forward um, drive through cards offers uh, deals on PDFs that the publishers put in and then they randomly select them. So you'll see it up here by the advanced search toolbar, there'll be a space that'll be called deal of the day. And you'll see a logo of the game or uh, the product. So I've already done the core games for PTG football, solo PTG football and hockey bones. And I did the 6667 card set for Hockey Bones yesterday, I think it was. Uh, I think 6768 is the next one in there. I don't know. Anyway, one of the 60s is, is the next one in the queue. So hopefully it pops up at roughly 11 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. And it's there for 28, uh, 28, 24 hours. And it is, I set it at 40% off. They can go higher, but, uh, you know. It's only $7 to begin with, 40% off. You're getting the PDF for $4.20. So anyway, you would click the button. It would take you directly to the product. Same thing is true here. If you saw a product you were interested in, you just click it. It takes you directly to the product. In lieu of that, you, choose, you click the publisher. Here's the publisher page. And you'll see the product. Now, you'll see down here in the hottest titles, you'll see these where it says core game core game accessories and player card sets. These are categories that I have selected and I've chosen and I've designated each of the products into the category. So if it looks too overwhelming of, oh no, which one do I want? Um, right now I have them as these products because there aren't that many card sets for anything except hockey, frankly. So if you wanted to look at the core games, you would choose core game and then the things that are designated core game would be there. Okay. So for the sake of discussion, we'll look at, we'll look at one right now. We'll, we will look at the, Oh, right. So you can hit the, the right button, the right click button, and then the left will appear to, uh, if you want to look at multiple items. So the, the card decks are in here for the various games. There's the rink design, the arc cards, you know, all these different things. Okay, so we'll use this one for the, we'll use this one. Uh, Hockey Bones 1967-68 player cards. You can see that the little window pops up telling you what's what it is. Now, Here's the way that this works. If you want the PDF of the card set, choose PDF. If you just want the cards, not PDF, 
choose just cards. If you want the PDF plus the cards, choose that one. In this instance, the, in, in this, it, when this comes up like this, and it's not every product, I'll explain that in a moment. So for this, if you wanted PDF plus cards, you'll save 50% on the PDF. Okay, once you, once you, if you choose to buy the cards now and then three months later go, oh, I wish I'd bought the PDF, you're going to have to pay full price. I'm sorry, you're not going to, it's, I'm not going to go through all that. So you'll just, it's a one-time shot. Okay, so you'll see here where it says on the left, under the game logos, select view rule book to get the bench miner game misconduct tables and a list of the players in the set. So you would literally click that and view rule book. And that's what will pop up, the PDF that you can download that has that information on it. That's if you have the print. If you have the PDF, it comes as part of the PDF. No need to download it twice. Okay, so you can add it to the cart, or you can add it to your wish list. Okay. Now, down below here, you'll also see there'll be further information. Depending on the product, there'll be other description or information in here. Um... So this is going to tell you, you know, you have to own, if you don't already own Hockey Bones game, here's the link to go buy it. So then you'll see a couple of cards um, that you'll, you know, get a sense of what they, what they were. And it should be, um, it should match in this instance. Obviously it does not, but that's okay. I'll go back and fix it. See, it's 66, 67. I just chose the wrong cards. No big deal. Throw some other cards up there. Um try to change too many things too often anyway here is a video now these are the same videos that are available on the regular website so this is the p this is the the uh, youtube video uh this is i believe this is peter miller's video of him playing the game so and you'll see you should see a video for every product um and it should be able to to um Give you a sense of if you don't own if you're coming here looking for hockey stuff and you're like oh maybe i'll try this football game then you'll see the same videos you would on the on the regular game website um but it'll give you a sense of the game okay so um by the way fascinating things customers who bought this also purchased i'd love to know who bought card rails just because i'd be curious about card rails but that's just me all right, if you have comments or whatever, you can leave them down here, discussions or whatever. I think, I get email, I think I've set it up to where I get email alerts if somebody posts something. Um, you can, you know, follow your favorites, um, et cetera, et cetera. So here's the information. So you'll see author is me. In this case, I'm the author and the artist. Um, there are 272 cards in the set. This is the stock number, how big the PDF file is, um, when it was last uploaded or updated. Uh, I updated rearranging some things. I think I put, that's when I think I put the wrong cards in actually, I'll fix that later. And you can see when it was added to the, to the um, catalog. So that's the simplest thing. So, you know, you would choose whatever it is, add to cart, and then you would go through the process, you know, changing the numbers and whatever, right? Um, the reason it's showing zero for me is that I'm, I'm li actually logged in as a publisher, and I already own it because I have to, I have to buy every print title in advance to proof, make a proof copy. Um, so I already own everything, of course. Um, so it, it won't let me. In essence, it won't have me buy the same thing twice um, as the publisher. Not a big deal. Anyway, so that's the simplest way to, and by the way, recent history is, you know, where you've been recently clicking. If you get a chance, take a look at it. So that's the basic listings of these, of these things. See, and there's description. See, it's telling me I've purchased. Um, so you'll be able to choose anything and add it to the cart. You can do it across publishers too. You don't have to check out with just me. You, if you really did see something, uh, there are some other, or a couple of other sports game publishers here. Um, or if you're interested in seeing the other titles that they have, you know, the other card games or whatever that you can go there and, and check that out. And then 
check out. These guys are really fast about printing stuff. It generally takes them three to five days, give or take. Um, if you're in the United States, they will print in the United States. If you're pretty much anywhere else in the world, they also have a printer in the in the UK. So they'll ship, they'll print and ship from there. So you're not paying US to wherever you are pricing. Uh, so you'll end up with probably cheaper shipping, uh, certainly more direct shipping as UK to wherever shipping. Uh, you'll also, um, the, you know, so the quality here is is outstanding. The, the speed of service is outstanding. They're very responsive. If you contact customer service for something, they contact me. I don't know who you are, okay? I do not see order names. All I see is order numbers. So if you order something and I ask you for the receipt, that's why, because I know that, you know, somebody you know number one two three ordered uh ptg college basketball 2020 set but i have no idea who you actually are so if you email me directly or you contact them and then they tell you to email me uh then they you know i'm going to ask you for the receipt not because i don't trust you but because frankly i don't all i have is an order number i don't have who ordered it's a nice you know it's a safeguard that i understand they really don't want me contacting you outside of the business, you know, that kind of breaks down the business model, right? So um, there, there are other things that, that I can do that you'll see me do as a publisher. So if a set is ever updated, right? If we find a mistake or something, or we update it for different format or whatever, you will receive an email um, or you, or it will automatically appear in your or and or it will automatically appear in your um, customer account with the updated file so like yesterday I was updating I was getting rid of actually some um, separating I was combining print and PDF titles and it automatically let people know that there was a, a new set available the reality is the sets exactly the same i just combined print and pdf separate listings into one so uh anyway so there's that i can also send uh, again i can't designate who receives by name but i can designate who receives either discounts you know maybe i send you a little coupon code or something by product so i may you know i may decide you know who knows i may decide that i want to you know goose sales of maybe hockey and, and so i will send all the people who bought maybe the core game in print and i'll say hey here's 10 percent off on something else right you know a little coupon or something um and there there's other things you can do so one quick thing up here under account is you will see basically all you've ever ordered from them and i've got stuff going back to when they were RPG now. Um, so all the way back to the, we started out with this um, through RPG now, selling Dungeons and Dragons uh, 3.5 edition game material. That's how we started here. So um, so I, I find stuff all the way back to there. Uh, updated titles, uh, library client and app information, the account, um, wish list if you've got them account settings addresses other kinds of things notifications you can go to previous email previous orders and view them um and and you know potentially download if it's a pdf you can potentially download it again um if it's you know if you've you're like oh did i order that you know um without looking the other way maybe you see that you did order it or you know you ordered something. I did this the other day, actually, when I was looking at uh, proof for proof copies. And um, I realized that I had not ordered a proof copy on the second edition of the six all-time teams. So that's why it's not out for, for sale yet. So I'm waiting for that proof copy to show up. So that's, of course, as you see, community created. So we don't worry about that. The money, um, that's mine. Uh, affiliate program if you want to be an affiliate however that works I don't even know um, so and they have some free stuff down here um, I don't have anything in the free stuff but there is free stuff there so 
that's basically how it works. It's pretty straightforward. Um, they, make, they make an outstanding product. Their product is, if you've not bought from them, it is a high gloss, heavy card stock, slick, like bicycle playing cards, Magic the Gathering, rounded corners, that type of, that's the, that's the quality of the product. And the speed is, is pretty good. We're getting out of COVID, so things are ramping up in terms of normalizing production and speed and all that other stuff. Um, uh, I think problems are now, problems exist now, I think, in the shipping end of it um, because of uh, the post office and the new or that person from before screwing with uh, the shipping. So anyway, hopefully that gets rectified and we get back to my normal. But anyway, um, there it is for you. Uh, I hope you go take a look and you know choose some choose some items from our little universe and enjoy. Thank you.